How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today is going to be a movie collection video. And real quick, uh, so tomorrow will actually be my first uh, live unboxing video. It will be on the Gundam Wing uh, Collector's Ultra Edition. And I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do one per week. Because uh, when you do a live stream mobile, uh, even when you did it on Google, it uploads pretty quickly. So uh, yeah, I think I'll just do one per week and just kind of change it up little bit so just to let you guys know so stay tuned for that and with that let's go ahead and get started with our movie collection of men in black all right so first up we have the 20th anniversary uh 4k edition of mib or men in black with uh tommy lee jones and will smith it's a pretty nice uh box set pretty sturdy and I actually found this uh, secondhand for about uh, I think 20 bucks, I think 20, 22 with tax and stuff, which is actually a really good deal. <laughs> and it's pretty much brand new. There's the Ultra HD Blu ray. Uh, nothing on the back. I think there's supposed to be like a, um, like a little uh, paper sleeve, and that looks like that's from like the little glue on it. And then here are the packs. And I actually did film this in a live stream format, <laughs> but uh, I at the time I forgot, that, oh, it, it uploads really quickly. So yeah, I think I'll just do one per week. All right. So first up, we have the original film, Men in Black, protecting the earth from the scum of the universe, as it says. Here you see Jones and Smith. So yeah, they are in these uh, kind of cardboard sleeves, but they are in like a spindle. They're not in uh, like an actual sleeve to discard. There's story details here. There's like the group of aliens that hang out in the kitchen <laughs> and tell jokes. Pretty cool. All right. And then on the inside here, it is a pretty nice day. It's pretty nice and sunny out, so it might get kind of bright. So you get commentaries, featurettes, interviews, documentaries, uh, music video. Of course, uh, uh, Here Come the Men in Black by Will Smith. A pretty, pretty good song. <laughs> All right, so there's a regular Blu-ray disc. Or disc. So the only thing is, is that they are stacked. So you do have to kind of be careful, pretty much. They are sturdy because they are Blu-rays, but yeah. There's a 4K. All right, and then on the inside, just looks like outer space. Pretty nice. Okay. And there they are together. All right, so yeah, this will be the second video uh, for today, and then I'll do the uh, live one uh, for tomorrow, so. All right. Forgot to mention that, that this will be the second one for today. <laughs> okay, so here is uh, MIB2, back in black, as it says. And there's the spine, and here is the back with the story details. And there's a dog that they talk to and hang out, <laughs> hang out with. He's like an informant, uh, and, he, and he actually talks and stuff. So, yeah, the... um. Really love the uh, creature designs in here, uh, Men in Black. Uh, and they also use a lot of practical effects too, which is actually really cool. So here you have commentaries, uh, alternate ending, blooper reel, featurettes, creature featurettes. Those are really nice. Uh, yeah, really like the designs. So there is MIB2. The regular Blu-ray, and then here is the 4K disc. And then there's the inside. That's a little uh, reference to the first film where where uh, Will Smith gets recruited and he has to take a test and it's in this really uncomfortable chair. <laughs> that scene was pretty cool. All right. And these are pretty sturdy. Uh, you know, they're just held on by glue and stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty nice. 
Okay, and then here is Men in Black 3. Now these do have uh, regular uh, Blu-ray releases. Uh, this also features Thanos, uh, Josh Brolin, which is pretty cool. And yeah, there there's uh, regular Blu-rays. I think there's other anniversary editions. I think for the first one there might be uh, other DVDs. Uh, there are steelbooks. That's a cool design right there. So yeah, there are many different editions, I think, for all three of these films. All right, get a making of, uh, another gag reel, scene investigations, music video. All right. There is the 4K disc. All right, and then here is the regular Blu-ray. Okay, and quality is very, very good. Uh, the Blu-rays are, you know, already really nice. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, and but the 4Ks are just amazing. They did a great job with the transfers. Uh, I'm guessing they're in pretty good shape because uh, they all look and sound amazing. Very, very good uh, 4K versions on these. So yeah, very happy to, to uh, announce that. Yeah, very, very well done. Okay, and then that's what they look like in the case. And all right, let's show all three of them like that. So there they are. Yeah, pretty nice, simple set. And uh, yeah, I got this used for under $25 and yeah, it's pretty much brand new. Uh, the, I'm not sure if there's another complete collection set. There might be one where it's without the, the box here. Maybe just a regular Blu-ray case and it just has all the films, maybe like that. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you guys can find this, uh, you can find it online new. I know at Best Buy they had it. It was pretty expensive, though, kind of. Um, I think Target, I think other places did as well. Uh, Amazon, I think, might have it, but you might have to go through sellers, uh, if you're trying to get it new. So do be careful with that. Uh, but yeah, very nice set for the first three films. I'm not sure if there's one with all four. So, yeah. All right, and then last up was the latest entry for uh, the Men in Black uh, series of films. We have MIB International. And also, uh, you know, pertaining to the, um, just real quick for the, uh, you know, originals, because uh, I think he started the second one too, Rest in Peace, Rip Torn. Really, really good actor. Uh, you guys might know him from a bunch of other movies besides this one. Uh, he... It's like their boss in here. He's really good. You know, he passed away, unfortunately, uh, quite a while back now. Or a, a while ago now. So, yeah, just wanted to say that real quick because he was really, really good. So here's the latest entry with uh, Hensworth and, uh, or Chris Hensworth and Tessa Thompson. Thor and Valkyrie. This is the Target exclusive edition. Uh, this is a Blu-ray, DVD, and digital uh, copy this you get a uh, companion book, which is pretty nice There is a steelbook edition of this which has a uh, This character right here on it. He's like on the front All right, so there is one side There is Hensworth and then you switch it around And there is Thompson pretty cool and then here is the back all right, so this says uh, Blu-ray disc exclusive. So I'm guessing if you get the DVD, uh, there's some stuff that's not on there. So you get other featurettes, gag reels. Uh, I think there's some documentary type stuff in here. Bunch of stuff. So yeah, very nice. Okay, so this is one of those where the booklet can actually fit with the case in the uh, slipcover, which is really nice. It's not one of those where it's, like, uh, packaged on the outside. <laughs> uh, yeah, because those are kind of weird. All right, so here is the companion book. I'm not sure there's, like, a um, bigger version of this. Uh, probably not. I'm guessing it's just this. 
They use the some of the weapons. I believe that's a neuralizer, I think. Creature designs. All right. And to show you guys some of the stuff inside, there's the Agent M and Agent H. There's our two leads. Here you see some of the facial uh, motion capture, which is uh, pretty good, pretty cool. And you get some other designs. That is really nice. I remember watching the, uh, even the original film, some of the designs that they were coming up with, uh, before, you know, you get the final, uh, version. It was really nice. Okay. So there goes the booklet, and then here is the case itself. Alright, and then this one has both of them. Here is the back. All right, and then here is the disc. So you have the DVD on the left and the Blu-ray on the right. And this one was kind of weird. The 4K was actually, I think it was um, lower than I think the Blu-ray was, or vice versa. It was something weird like that. Uh, but from what I could gather, the 4K is not that good, or not that much better. Uh, but this one I found secondhand. At a, uh, another Half Price Books, uh, where I got the, uh, cause I got the other one, the MIB Trilogy set, at a different, uh, Half Price Books location. And this one had this version for, like, $9.99, like 10 bucks, And it looks and sounds really good. Um, so if, if anyone out there has a 4K version, uh, please let me know how that is. Uh, I remember seeing some footage from it and stuff. It, it looks okay, in some stuff, and then most of the shots don't look like they got that big of an upgrade, so probably hit or, hit or miss. So, uh, but international, you know, it was all right, pretty cool film. Uh, I'm wondering if it'll get another, if we'll get another MIB movie sometime down the road, but uh, yeah, because this came out years after the third one, so yeah, <laughs> so yeah, there is a 4K, uh, regular, there's a steel book. You have the regular Blu-ray, then you have this one. I'm not sure if there was another version, uh, but yeah. All right, so that does it for our Men in Black movie collection. All right, so let's go ahead and display all of these. Okay, so let's put those right there. The sleeves will probably open up a little bit. That's fine. All right, there they are, all the good together, and uh, yeah, uh, feel free to let me know in the comment section below, you know, have you seen any of the Men in Black films, which one is your favorite, uh, you know, who's your favorite character, agent, alien, you know, villain, uh, you know, good guy, you know, uh, hey, Thanos is in one, <laughs> uh, Josh Brolin, and the third, the third one was pretty cool. Uh, cause I think that came out, uh, quite a while after the second one, I think. Um, and that was a big thing, you know, Tommy Lee Jones, Will Smith coming back. And then they added some more other characters and stuff. And then International got announced, uh, you know, years later as well. So yeah, kind of wondering. Also, there is a animated show as well for Men in Black. Uh, does anyone out there, has anybody seen it? Feel free to let me know. I remember watching all of it. It was awesome. Love the creatures in that, and the comedy was great. Um, there was a first season DVD for it, but I'm not sure if all the episodes have been released in like one set. Maybe not in the States. Uh, there was, I don't know if this is related to Men in Black, but there was a show called The Men in White. <laughs> it was a live action show. It was really kind of weird. It's just these guys in like painters outfits. <laughs> haters overalls let me know if you guys have seen that as well and uh with that i'll see you guys next time